Mark Zuckerberg releases his artificial intelligence Llama 3.1 for free. This AI is one of the most powerful in the world. Hey everyone, Meta announced this week the latest version of its artificial intelligence model called Llama 3.1. The new Llama technology comes in three different versions, with one of them being Meta's largest and most capable AI model to date. To start off, you already know what to do. Leave a comment below if you think Meta is right to release Llama 3.1 as open source. Don't forget to like and share the link to this video in your WhatsApp and Telegram groups with people you care about to keep them updated on this topic, all right? Thanks, let's continue. Like previous versions of Llama, the new model remains open source, which means it can be accessed for free. The new model highlights the social network's massive investment in keeping up with AI spending from high profile startups levels such as OpenAI and Anthropic, as well as other tech giants like Google and Amazon. The company didn't disclose the development cost of Llama 3.1, but Mark Zuckerberg, Meta's CEO, recently told investors that the company is pouring billions of dollars into AI development. With this release, Meta shows that the closed approach favored by most AI companies isn't the only way to develop artificial intelligence. However, the company puts itself at the center of the debate about the risks of releasing AI without safeguards. Meta trains Llama to prevent harmful content generation by default but the model can be modified to remove these protections. Meta claims that Llama 3.1 is just as smart and useful as the best commercial offerings from companies like OpenAI, Google, and Anthropic. On certain benchmarks measuring AI progress, Meta says their model is the world's smartest artificial intelligence. In an open letter published alongside the launch of the new model, Zuckerberg drew a comparison between Llama and the open-source Linux operating system. When Linux gained popularity in the late 90s and early 2000s, many major tech companies invested in closed alternatives and criticized open-source software as risky and unreliable. Today, however, Linux is widely used in cloud computing, and serves as the core of the Android mobile operating system. Zuckerberg believes that AI will develop in a similar fashion, as he writes in his letter. Currently, several tech companies are developing closed proprietary models, but open source is quickly closing that gap. The new Llama model boasts 405 billion parameters or adjustable elements. Meta has already released two smaller versions of Llama 3, one with 70 billion parameters and another with 8 billion parameters. Today, the company also launched updated versions of these models, branded as Llama 3.1. Llama 3.1 is too large to run on a standard computer, but Meta states that many cloud providers, including Databricks, Grog, AWS, and Google Cloud, will offer hosted versions to enable developers to run customized versions of the model. The model can also be accessed through the website www.meta.ai.com. Unlike the latest models from OpenAI and Google, Llama isn't multimodal, which means it wasn't designed to handle images, audio, or video. However, Meta claims that the model is significantly better at using other software like web browsers, something many researchers and companies believe could make AI more useful. With all this information about Meta's release of Llama 3.1, in my opinion, it's clear that we're witnessing a true revolution in artificial intelligence. The fact that it's open source, just like Linux, shows that Meta is betting on a collaborative approach that could further accelerate AI development. Although it's not multimodal like OpenAI and Google's models, Llama 3.1 makes up for it with its incredible ability to use other software, which could open up new possibilities for its use. So, what do you guys think about Meta's new strategy? Do you believe open source is the future of AI? Leave your comments below. Let's hear your thoughts. If you found this news interesting, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.